Right then guys, here we go. It's Thursday, it's late afternoon. We're just clocking off from work and uh, we're just about to embark on the longest journey ever. It's gonna feel like that from tonight. Uh, Charlie's next event, Scotland, Campbelltown, Macrahanish, up that way somewhere. There's mixed reports. There, there you go, he's getting in the cab now. There's mixed reports of it taking eight, nine, ten hours drive time. We're going up tonight, we're going to get up as far as Loch Lomond, up that sort of way, I hope, hope, and, um, and then um, we'll then progress on tomorrow, Friday, and uh, get scrutineered and all the rest of it tomorrow afternoon. So, uh, so we're going to embark on a fair old journey uh, over the next, um, well, 24 hours really, I suppose, or 12 hours. Uh, so we're loaded up, cars in the back, all the gears in, and as I say, we're going to hit the road in a minute. And, uh, and make our way up into Scotland, have a night somewhere up there, Loch Lomond, up that sort of neck of the woods, and then down to uh, Macrahanish, Campbelltown tomorrow, ready for the um, start of the event, which is uh, Saturday. We do uh, we do an event Saturday, and then another one Sunday, and then uh, and then it's a long road home. So uh, uh, at the moment we're all upbeat and. Uh, Fingers crossed we don't have too much traffic and a decent run. I'll come back to you in due course. Cheers. Right here guys, here we go. Friday morning, it's uh, about half past seven, I think. We're, um, we made it up, or we were up past Loch Lomond. Keep going, and a bit. We stopped around about midnight last night. <laughs> Next to yet another lock over there. There's a small town over the other side there. I'll be honest, I can't remember what the town was. Um, yeah, no, I'm not sure really. We missed a, a lovely lay-by down the road, set back off the road, but um, we were uh, well, pitch black and we missed it, simple as that. So, Charlie's just, just getting out of bed, Ian's just getting out of bed. I thought I'd just get out and just do a quick recce and see what the weather was and all the rest of it, which is not bad at all to say we're right up here. So, um, so we're just going to have a quick bit of breakfast, get me bins on, and, uh, and then we're going to hit the road again. We've got about another 60, 65 mile to go on these uh, twisty, windy little, they're actually lovely roads, lovely, lovely roads, but they are very, very twisty and windy. Uh, and um, so, yeah, we've got another couple of hours, really, truthfully, before we arrive at destination. Feels like it's the end of the world, but we'll get there, I'm sure. So uh, I'll talk to you a bit later. Thank you. Right then, folks, here we go. We are, what day is it now? Saturday. Saturday, Saturday morning. We're here, we're set up, car scrutineered, ready to go, look. Uh, Ian's there, ready? You ready, Ian? I'm ready, I'm ready. Ian's <laughs> ready. Yeah, Ian's Charlie's ready. Going. Charlie? Uh, oh, I'm okay. Ready to go. Charlie wanted to go last night if he had a choice. Uh, he um, he was ready for off. He was uh, he was keen to get on and, and uh, we had a quick cycle around the stages last night, which are good, fast, flowing, uh, plenty of grip, we think, don't we? I'm hoping so, but they're a bit, they're getting there. Yeah, we're hoping so. So, uh, so the uh, service area is filling up with people and, uh, and cars and everything else. So have a quick whip round that way there. Look, all the juniors are all in a, in a specific area. And if we then whip round over there, you'll uh, get a bit of wind over here. But you can see over there, there's stuff everywhere. Hangar, we're all going to go in for, uh, for an evening meal later on. They do a car free. They do the job about right up here. They really, really do. So, uh, so there you go. So I'll let you know how we get on. It's, um, we're, uh, we're, we're going to try and hit the ground running, really. I'll speak to you a bit later. Thank you. Well, guys, Saturday, late afternoon, Saturday evening. There we are. It's been, uh, I don't know what we've done, 46 miles or something like that. Competitive miles, Charlie and Ian there. And, um, and they've come in in second. So um, there's your top three cars there. They're just having a little interview at the end of the day. So um, there you go, look, we got um, Skoda City Go first, Ryan Walker, there he is, the lad in red. Second, Charlie and Ian, and third, Lachlan Hunter uh, in a VW Up again. So, um, so we've had a great day, no drama, no, no trouble whatsoever, the cars run flawlessly. Um, so, and we're going to do it all over again tomorrow with longer stages, fewer but longer stages. So um, we shall see what um, what we can do tomorrow. We now know the venue. Most of it will be the same as it has been today. It will be, um, well, it is the same venue. Might be slightly different um, corners and bits and pieces, but they know what to expect. So um, 
So we're going to have another stab tomorrow and see um, see what we can do tomorrow. Fingers crossed. And now it's tea time. Right then, guys, here we go. Look, Sunday morning now. It feels like we've been away from home forever. And um, is, uh, is, uh, the rally's just commenced, 8.15 on the dot. Rally leader just coming round in front of me here now. Charlie's just away from the start line. I can see the start line over there. So um, uh, we, we were second yesterday. Um, we were 18 seconds off the off the top spot after 43 miles yesterday. We got 50 miles today in four stages. Uh, so uh, there's Charlie coming around here now. There he goes. He says he's on for a bit of a charge today, so we'll see. Certainly nice and clean through there, well done. So, we're optimistic for a nice clean run. And um, fingers crossed. Nice, um, no, no, no drama, no trouble. And, uh, and we'll do the four stages with no bother. There's car number three who is also on a charge. He had a bit of drama with his window yesterday. He's got a bit of tape on there. So, I'll come back to you a little bit later in the day. Over and out. through the day stage two just completed have we a straight car yeah yeah oh we're not bothered about a bit of grass how was that fast yeah, yeah. happy yeah, yeah. happy ian yes happy, happy how, how, yeah. have we got a time through we've got time through with ryan kipton by one second oh, you're we'll letting him have it letting him have it <laughs> i think he likes the last bit of the stage Oh, Ryan. Ryan. Right. He seems to have carried him. I thought we were about five up on him. And then he got, when we got to the finish, he was one ahead. So I 
Yeah. Right. Well, anyway, we've had a nice run. You look to have enjoyed yourselves, and we have a straight car, so that's brill. So uh, there you go. So we'll uh, we'll get a bit more petrol in there, and uh, and a quick once over, ready for um, stage three. After the seniors have been out and done a bit of uh, bit of damage, so uh, I'll report back later. <laughs> oh, he's off. <laughs> right then, guys, we're back. We made it. We got back at, oh, I don't know, half past 11, 20 to 12 last night, something like that. And um, uh, Ian was feeling okay, so he shot off home, as did we. And uh, yeah, it was nice to get back in our, our, to be honest, it was nice to have a shower and indeed get back in our bed. So uh, uh, again, thanks for Ian for uh, for giving his time and coming out and all the rest of it. Uh, we had a great weekend, did we not? Yeah, brilliant. Good weekend. Uh, no real trouble, no real drama. Came in second on Saturday, second on Sunday. And, uh, and then the, whatever it was, how far was it? Two, 360 mile or something? something? Like that, yeah. 360 mile or something like that. Home and the old, um, the old truck. Rather lovely, isn't it? No bother at all. So, uh, um, Ian had another hour and a bit to drive home, hour and a half after us. So, um, um, I rang him at, oh, I don't know, pushing one o'clock before I actually gave in and went to bed. And he was just about to pull on the drive. So, uh, uh, so he's a diamond, is he? <laughs> yeah. Uh, pun? Oh, yeah, big commitment for me, Ian. Angie's over there waffling on. Anyway. There you go. So we're back. And uh, next one is down in, it's the English Championship down in Pembrey, oh, yeah. uh, which again is another long haul job. But uh, but anyway, at least it feels, but it feels like you don't need a passport really to go yeah, to Pembrey. Brilliant. But actually going south for a change. We'll see, won't we? So uh, anyway, over and out for now. Ta da!